Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to play around in the European Union. I figured it's been a while since I've played this map, so without further ado, let's uh, go ahead and get started. Okay, what do we have here? We've got City Fit. Very well, this looks like a kind of town that might find in Germany, Austria, Switzerland. That's what I'm feeling at the moment. Let's go ahead this way and see what we have. Um, uh, Spol Spolzellini? Oh, right, that's interesting. Don't recognize those those words. And something Demolica. CDs and DVDs. Right. Uh, not too much help, so let's progress and see what we can find down here. Uh, perhaps it's Polish then, to be honest. That sounds a little more like it might be Polish. Um, hoping for some street signs and... Oh, we've got this tunnel. I was rather hoping to, to go the other way, actually, and see if we could go... Can we get to here? No. It does not seem to be the case that we can. Okay, let's progress and not let that hamper us. Out through the other side of this tunnel. And here we go. Are there any signs behind us? Um, okay, so we've got the Galleria Dominicanska. Photojoker.pl. Okay, dot Poland. Very good. So I think we've got the country down. It's a case now of figuring out um, the town. Uh, it doesn't have to be Warsaw. Plenty of other major cities in Poland. So let's see. Uh, wait, there's nothing on this sign either. Uh, the A4 and Obdwanica. Okay. Let's have a look and see what we can find. A4. Clearly a major motorway. Um, so can we see? Yes, we see A's. So we see, you know, the red squares. And the same kind of numbering styles. And here we go. There is the A4. It continues into Germany. And down here, through Krakow, for example. And, yeah, pretty much as far as Krakow and even further. So I'm going to go ahead and put down maybe an initial guess in Krakow. Uh, the reason is, is because we're heading south out of the city, aren't we? And... Um, we can see that the A4 is to the south there, so, you know, perhaps, perhaps that's it. Um, let's get back to the map and see what else we can see on these signs, because they might just be able to help us fractionally. We've only got a few more minutes, and they probably can't help us, because... Podwell, I guess that's the name of the street. 35 seconds to go, so unless we see something specific that says Krakow, I'm going to just have to stick with that guess. Um, yes, what do we have here? Come on, 23 seconds to go. I'm just going to use the zoom function. So we're not in those towns because they are on the map. So we might very well be in Krakow still. Um, Look, without further ado, I think I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to put us on this straight road because I, um, it feels just sort of right. But, oh, well, look at that. We never nailed down the town, did we? So we were actually um, we were actually over here in, in uh, Warsaw. Um, so, yeah, that's, um, that's... Sorry, not Warsaw. Rocklaw. Um, so, yeah. Where were we exactly? Just coming out of there. Well, we had the right logic, I suppose. So, very beautiful looking center from above, at least, with this um, canal around it and so on. Next town or location. Right, altogether a bit more rural. Oh, no, maybe not. No, stand corrected. Uh, let's get to the end of the street here and see what we can see what we can distinguish. Um, just in these housing areas, I suppose, just, you know, it's it's key, really, just to try and uh, 
well, get out for want of a better phrase. Right, we've got here a train station. This might give some information away. Um, although it doesn't appear to have a lot going on at the moment, does it? Nope. What do we have here? Hmm. SZCD. Is that Serbia, Slovakia, and Slovenia? I don't know. That's probably probably reading a bit too much into that one, I'm afraid. I don't recognize the language. Um, so, a little tough at the moment. Let's see what else we can go by, if there's anything at the end of this road. Ah, it appears that there is not. Okay, we'll have to go back this way. Luckily we can sort of skip a long way down these roads. Here's something perhaps a little more major. At the moment, still not sure. I'm feeling sort of Serbia or Hungary or um, something like that. What do we have here? What is this? dot sl so you know is that is that slovenia for example sl or slovakia maybe slovakia you know i think that might be that might be might be slovakia i don't know if dot sl is dot slovenia or slovakia we're going to find out but for some reason i feel that this is more slovakia than slovenia i'm going this way because i think i see some green signs oh i can't even go this way Oh no. Well look, I'm getting a bit stuck here to be honest. It's proving difficult to to move around. Um I think I've kind of exhausted a lot of the options as to where I can go. We come we came down here, certainly, so this is proving to be a little tough. What do we have here? Okay, another main road. Um I'm pretty confident with, with you know Slovakia so um it's just a case of dostava just a case of figuring out where in slovakia we're clearly in a sort of a reasonably sized town but it doesn't feel like a city does it we've got a bike store here for example let's go up here this looks like sort of main center um ish but really i'm um, find it tough to pin these places down. Red's Pub. Liverpool. Liverpool supporters. Interesting. Um, no, look, with 10 seconds to go, I'm not sure. Why don't we try this uh, Priedstve? Might have butchered how I pronounced that, but um, look, I think we might be in there somewhere. So, oh, and we were wrong. Dot .sl is Slovenia, so that is worth remembering. A learnt lesson. Uh, we were in the eastern side of Slovenia. This is where I believe Melania Trump is from. Maybe not this town itself, Maribor, but uh, certainly eastern Slovenia. Um, so that's good to know. But uh, yes, did not know I was barking up the wrong tree from the beginning with dot .sl being Slovakia. So I'm curious as to what that is. Maybe .sv? Um, but then that might be Sweden? I don't know. Not sure. Next round. Right. Another town. Interesting. Let's go up here and see what we can see. This looks like it could be the town center. Hmm. Not a lot to go by there. It's pretty bare looking, isn't it? Can we go up here? Yes, we can. Although this looks like we might be swiftly coming to a dead end. I do worry about dead ends. They mean, you know, that you haven't seen half as much as you might have been able to. Not sure. I feel like I say I'm not sure a lot these days, but um, well, I guess I'm just not sure or not. Okay, so this to me, you know, looks like it's Spanish. Um, Prohibito venta ambulante excepto. So, not allowed except ambulances, I assume. Um, and uh, Google Street View cars, of course. So, look, Spanish, maybe. 
Portuguese, possibly. My languages aren't up to scratch, as we all know. Um, but it feels, you know, feels Spanish to me. It feels Spanish to me. Definitely a small town. I'm just trying to basically get out of it and find the next, the next village or the next, um, you know, a signpost, I suppose, to to the next place. So let's let's see what we can find. I think we've nailed down the country. Pretty happy with Spain. Definitely a winding road. So just trying to skip ahead across all of these. Um, twists and turns. As such, no signs yet. It's pretty hilly landscape, so I'm going to venture. We're in we're in the north of Spain, um, but it's also looking pretty arid, isn't it? And and I think the north of Spain is kind of. Uh, greener, I suppose. So maybe we're in the... I don't know if the east or the west of Spain is more hilly, to be honest. We can have a look on the map in a second. Um, this is not yielding the results I had hoped for. Uh, this exploration, it's certainly a beautiful, you know, countryside, which is lovely to see. But unfortunately, in the way of clues, uh, I certainly haven't seen any. I might have skipped some by accident, in terms of signs and so on, but I have not done so deliberately. So, I might give this another turn, and for the sake of 20 more seconds... No, look, there's nothing there. For the sake of 20 more seconds, instead of going down this wild goose chase, I'm going to try again in this town and see if there is anything. At the moment, the answer is... No. And look, quite swiftly, we're exiting the town again, aren't we? So it's pretty small and rural. So, you know, why don't we just find a, a small rural town in Spain and go for a guess and see how lucky we might be. Um, going to go by by the hills. Um, now, I have a feeling, let's say, you know, we might be up here, I suppose. Uh, the real Pyrenees are up here and to the north, but, I, you know, we're somewhere a bit more, a bit more arid, aren't we? So why don't we go in here somewhere? Why don't we go for Roa? Roa looks nice. In the town there. Gone for the guess. And, you know, it was as good a guess as any, wasn't it? The real place we were was here. We were in... Consquies... Con... Sorry, I missed that. Where did it go? Can't see it. One thing's for sure, we never got to this EX208... I think we were progressing out of town on one of these roads, which is a shame because there were two main-ish roads there that we could have found, actually, and we did not. So, you know, so be it. Um, but we nailed Spain, so we were in the right country. Next round. Very good. All oh, right, we're right next to some huge, great big building. Yep, okay, very good. This has feels like Romania to me. Um, do we have some writing here? Not sure about that. A spa. Jackpot. <laughs> That's a good name. These very narrow streets remind me of of. Um, Bucharest. What do we have here? These are more street signs. No signs. Strada. Oh, I can't read that at all. No. They're not helping. Inspectorato. The state in construct, so state construction inspector. God, look, it's a very interesting building, is that, isn't it? It reminds me of um, Mukesh Ambani's private home, which is that skyscraper in Mumbai. That little bit on it there. 
Right, enough enough ado about all this nonsense. Let's get on to we're clearly on a main road, so we should be exploring. What am I doing? I'm I'm losing track. In my lost in my own thoughts. Don't recognise any of those. Um bit stuck on this one. At the moment I'm going Romania. Unless I get proven otherwise. I'm going Romania only because I've been there once. I don't recognize this kind of architecture, um, you know, geography really at all. Um, feels like what I remember of Romania. So gonna go with it. Certainly, we're in a huge town. You know, we're in a proper, a proper city here with Carrefour, Zara. You know, it shouldn't be. Th there's no, you know parochial small townness going on here. So I'd love to get this right. I feel like we really should be able to. We've only got a minute left as well, which is a shame. Um, it's not proving to be that successful as this round, but um, in terms of clue yielding, I really need to zoom in and try and find some some answers. But Bratzanu, uh, BRD? Don't recognize that writing. Nope. Um, you know, there should be enough here to figure it out. And we're clearly at a huge intersection. Going to get in there with the time that I've got and put down a guess. Bucharest. I'll put us down there. Yes! Spot on. Thrilled with that. Um, I thought I recognised it all. Not just, obviously not the exact streets and the places and whatnot, but just the architecture, the look and the feel of the place. Really very lucky with that one because, um, you know, just, uh, just didn't know it. Didn't have any other clue other than my own instinct. So thrilled with that guess. Look at that. Just a few hundred meters away, really. I went for this major intersection. We were probably, uh, I don't know, maybe at this one by the time the map finished. By the time the, our time was up, we navigated maybe out of here. I didn't really track it, to be honest, but thrilled with that guess there. Yep. So, in fact, I see there's a car four. So maybe we were by this Unirea shopping mall. In fact, I think we ended up at that very intersection. There was a Bershka and a... Um, Zara and a McDonald's so I think that was actually the intersection that we ended up at would you believe it we found it we just didn't uh, work our way back thrilled with that round five out of five okay very good uh, altogether more Scandinavian feel to it I suppose maybe not it's quite sunny um, no, maybe not. Take that back. Not sure. Not sure yet. Let's go for an explore, shall we? Got here a little. We're clearly in another town. Okay, so... Well, possibly we're in Scandinavia. Um, I don't know. Vallingby. S-P-A... Spanger. Not sure on that. Don't recognise either of those, but let's let's carry on. Um we'll try and get to this intersection and I think they they could be Swedish, you know, or Norwegian. It didn't feel like Norwegian to me. But I'm no I'm no expert. Um let's see just what this sign says here, because I'm not sure about it certainly had the Norwegian kind of language. Yeah that's more okay, so that is more Scandinavian, at least to me. Dot se. Okay, so is that Sweden? Because we were asking earlier what the Swedish extension is, but se could be it. So it feels now more. I did think it might be Scandinavian to begin with. The Scandinavians also have some some English, you know, in their language and so on. So oh nope, didn't mean to do that. Please minimize. Um, I meant to click down here because. There's some signs. Oh, no, no signs. Just uh, 
We're looking at some train or truck. Yes, okay. Well, look, there's still a big road up here. So we should be able to, to get a look and feel for for where we are. I'd be amazed if there are no signs, but it doesn't look like there are. No, possibly not. Can we go up here? Yes, we can. Uh, this is not going to be quite as helpful as I was hoping. Spanger, that's the one we saw earlier. Um, don't know. I don't recognize Spanger as a place in Sweden or Norway or Finland for that matter. Um, I'm pretty confident we're in Sweden. Uh, at, in a few seconds I'm just going to go and have a look for it. But we've got a minute left. So, look, we're clearly sort of by, you know, in quite a bus depot-y train kind of area so that's one thing that we can zero in on if we do get a look in edgeways with a clue with a lucky look no look I feel if we carry on down here you know we'll get to a motorway eventually we'll get to some sort of major sign as to where we are but at the moment I'm just not seeing it we're getting to these roundabouts and time is running out so let us get in there we've got the pin on Sweden already the safety pin um, I mean, really, goodness, we could be every anywhere. Um, what is around Stockholm? I'll just I'll put a pin in around Stockholm because I feel like we 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 might be there. But um, you know, realistically, we could be down here. Oh, oh, time ran out. I don't think we were that far away. Huh. wow, that's an extremely lucky guess because. It was really just the safety pin. That is why I put down safety pins, folks. It, I was actually going to go down here to just because it had a funny name. Nor copping. Nor copping. So let us see if we were... If we had any clues. So we were on the outskirts of, of, of Stockholm. It looked like a big city. It looked like a big town. Um, obviously my pin is wrong. We were actually here now we can see oh we can see spanger for example so that is just the district of stockholm and we can see that what i was going to say is we can see the railways going through the town there so so that is the one that we were up against and really we made well i made sorry <laughs> keep saying we the royal we made no progress to any of these major roads or or anything which could have helped us triangulate but um not enough time um but I set the time limits for a reason so that we don't uh, carry on forever. Look, actually, that is a lucky guess, so I'm thrilled with that. Uh, don't want to talk too much about it because, um, you know, or, or claim any credit for it whatsoever. Pure luck. But if you zoom out and you start to see how big Sweden is, and we could have been anywhere, I went for Stockholm whilst I was trying to look elsewhere. View summary. Game finished. Well done. 17315. Well, let's look and see what we learned. In Spain, we didn't have much of a chance, really, because I didn't find any of the roads that I needed to find. Absolutely nailed Bucharest. I'm really, really happy with that. That's my best guess in the whole game, I think. Um, .sl is Slovenia, and we also learnt that .se is Sweden, so Slovakia remains to be discovered. Uh, and Poland, we had the right gist, because we found the A4, and um, it went south of both Krakow and actually... Um, Rocklaw as well so um, chose the wrong city and unfortunately didn't get uh, didn't get it right uh, and then Sweden was a completely lucky guess somewhere in um, in uh, Stockholm so fantastic well look I hope you enjoyed this game today and learnt um, as uh, as much from it as I did um, do let me know in the comments if you'd have um, if you'd have uh, gotten any closer on any, any of those guesses or if I missed the clues and if you're watching this channel and haven't yet subscribed, please do consider it. Uh, I really appreciate it, and obviously it helps the channel grow. So thank you very much for playing with me today, and I'll see you in the next video.